What's up, what's up, what's up, Dolphins Nation, man? I just wanted to make a quick <clears throat> quick video. I'm trying to give y'all these daily because, you know, the season's here. It's finally over. Preseason is over. Our players came out healthy. <clears throat> we didn't come out on the lot, top of a lot of the preseason game, but it's preseason where you just let, <clears throat> let go of a lot of the rust and stuff. So I wanted to talk real quick about I wanted to talk real quick about why I believe the Miami Dolphins will be better. And no, this ain't clickbait. Without Adamica Sue. No, it's not clickbait. Do I look like Omar Kelly? Only my Dolphins fans will get that reference. But uh, why I believe we'll be better without Adamica Sue is because we we never got better with Adamica Sue. We was always dead last in the run, minus last year. But the other two years, 26-28th in the run game. Before Adamica Sue 2014, we finished 12th. With Adamica Sue 2015, finished 26th. 2016, 28th. 2017, we got a little bit better finishing as 16th in the rankings, in the run defense. And with Adamica Sue, we was giving up over 120 plus yards a game. That's not good. For the man we paid, that's that's not good. A lot of people will argue and say, no, nah, no, nah, he was probably the best player. He could have been, but to me, he wasn't. And that's my opinion. We all got different opinions. And as a coach, I don't think so because honestly, when you break it down, the reason the Dolphins was giving up so much yardage with Sue was because Sue brought in a lot of double teams. And if you're an offensive-minded person, if you're smart, you're going to run at the double team. So that creates lanes automatically. All you got to do is pull somebody. So, hey, take the best run def defender out of the game. Without a Dominican Sue, I feel like we're going to be better. And listen to me when I say this. Why I say we'll be better is because we're going to create more one-on-one -on -one opportunities up front. We're going to create more one-on-one -on -one opportunities up front. I don't know who's going to be starting defensive title, Jordan Phillips, Vince Taylor. I don't know the dude from LSU. I don't know how to say his name. I'm sorry. My fault. Forgive me. But we're going to create more opportunities up front. So one-on-one, -on -one, this is why the pass defense was so good in preseason, why Robert Quinn was able to be good in preseason because of that. One-on-one -on -one opportunities. Hear me out. Don't don't find my video later and be like, damn, you was right, because I know what I'm talking about. It's going to create more one-on-one -on -one opportunities. This is why I feel like we'll be better without Dominican Sue 2018. 